I will teach three dishes. I will teach the fried rice, back or if I like a lunch how far. Ah, I then clean curry chicken. And the other one like a dumpling, between dumpling like a tang yen, in between tang yen and ode ode. Ah, but it's a Thai dishes. Yeah, so today we use the gas from city gas. The green curry basically you have to have the green uh, green chili like that. This one is kaffir lime. It's a lime from this leaf, limaupulus, fruit limaupulus leaf. Ang moko bakamo, but we call kaffir. Ah, yen soy, chong ming, chong ming. After I cut the leaf, you still can guess. This one, uh, the leaf you will use for the fried rice, and the stem you will use for the fried rice. This part I will use for paste. Help you to detox. When you eat the chicken rice, okay, the peppercorn is mean this one. You don't have peppercorn, use pepper powder. This one will be more, more aromatic because they don't form into powder yet. This one, palachan. Use your own palachan, no need to go far and high to use the Thai one. It's the same. This one, sarai, lemongrass. Yeah, I slide already. This one, you just cut. Uh, okay. Hold this firmly and then you take out a few layers at home. Today you don't have to do it. Uh, this one, how do you know it's right for you? When you bend, you feel soft. That is for you. It means you can chew. Okay? And then you just like... Yeah, okay, like that, huh? Okay? This one, Kalanka. It's English called blue ginger. You want the younger one. It's very simple. Get something near the shoot. Just peel. Cut it a little bit. Yeah, some shallot. Don't have shallot. Onion will do. Garlic. Normal, huh? Actually, this one will be optional. In, Th in Thailand, we don't use this chili. We use the chili paddy clean color. But I don't want you to use here because sometimes it's bitter. Sometimes it's too spicy. Uh, before you use it, cut and put in your mouth. Mm. Oh, no spicy at all. So you put some chili paddy mix a little bit. So you have the curry taste. This one, very simple. Bend together and glide it, except the, this one, not this. You float darker color together like that and pull the center stem out lightly, gently. When it gently, they come out easily and the smell enhance. But this one, when you use, don't cut like that. Just pair, pile out, yeah? Thin, thin one, like that. The smell is very good. About half fruit for the recipe, skin only. Yeah, just put together. Bend the thing, glide together. And then, ta -da! magic become like that. It not so spicy. I will cut chili paddy in. Yeah, you see the fire about this one video. Yeah, very, very, very low. You have to cut this one. I have the sarai, the whole stock. You have to bring one only one person one and cut slice like that. Thank you. This one is a fish sauce. My one big one. Your one small one. Her eye, her eye, oh. This is the palm sugar I put in the box for you already. The chicken I have to tie for you, but this one is all about with the bone. That I have the paste here. But if you want your bing chow, it's young. You see at the cap. The cap must be stiff and long. Color doesn't tell you because some breeze is purple color. Some breeze is even black color. But you see this one, fresh and long and stiff here. If yours, the cap are getting smaller, shorter and fry out like that, huh? it's very old. We do, yeah? You see how yeah? I, I, I talk to you, is, is correct or not? Yeah, not even see. You see? Ah, prove it to you, huh? it's young, huh? notice from the cap like that. Okay? If your bing chow is very small like that, you just cut something like that. We will do. Okay, immerse into the water so you bing chow don't turn black. And then this one can use for the apples, for the pear also. So I have everything. We start cook curry. We start to lamp up, huh? a little bit of oil. If you want your green curry clean, reserve it. Fang, to For the oil, you see, it's about two tablespoon, three tablespoon like that. So let it hot yet, yeah, hot, they will burn the paste because all the fruit and vegetable, huh? Yeah, you just put first. You see, they don't even sizzling. Cold oil is good. So this temperature is very good. Let it heat by itself. All the aromatic will come out. Yeah, you will take time about two three minutes. Okay, not even sizzling like that. You start with the paste. Okay, it's about full 
tablespoon like that. See, they start a little bit of sizzling on there, you see, like that. Not bubbling, huh? This one allow the chili, the garlic, the onion to cook. To cook, but not burn. I want them to cook all day. They will take about five minutes to enhance the, the smell. If you put the fire so, so strong, when you put in the sizzling, they don't have this smell. Your curry don't have this aloma, huh? Okay, they start to sizzling already. I see the fire, okay. I increase the fire a bit. You see, you see the bubbling, sizzling. This is the temperature. Let them do it. Later you can smell. They're reaching about 30%. So you want this side at the end, you have to cut like that. This one I want like this, so I cut this one. So it's up to you lah, huh? The chicken, but I prefer to eat the chicken, the curry chicken, the meat, chunky, chunky one. You cut this one, kerai, kerai, ah, later disappear already. You don't know where your chicken. I have the palm sugar here. This one, basil leaf. Jiao Shan Tat is a sweet, some call sweet basil, some call is Thai basil. But to me, this is a Thai basil, sweet basil, is bigger leaf. Just simply pick the leaf. The flower part is edible. Just put, yeah, okay. I have the coconut cream. My cream today quite thick, so I have the water stand by me. Ah, okay, this one I can smell the paste already. The next step, you add a little bit of coconut cream in. Not much. I cook it. Ah, like that, that is sizzling like that, but don't have any vapor and then you have smoke come out. You see the green color come out. Mm. Okay, and then you put the second batch. Put in. The second bat not sizzling yet, you put the chicken. Why? The Thai food, most of them, we don't marinate any meat at all. We use the technique of fire and ingredient to make the chicken soft. You see the fire not that strong yet. I increase a bit more to cook your chicken. The next is you put all. Oh. When the chicken halfway start to white, you can add the water in to adjust the thickness that you want. Now the my curry become white color. There sometimes the coconut cream is pale. Some blend thicker than the another. Thick it doesn't mean they thick from the cream. They thick from the starch. Ah, okay, now I can add the water. Once I add the water, I prefer increase my fire. You have to increase, huh? Otherwise your chicken won't cook, huh? Ah, this one is very good. Okay, my chicken now about is about sixty percent. Cook, I will start with seasoning. Okay, now it's good. Try first. It's quite bland but sweet in taste. Sweet from the coconut. So I put the sugar. Palm sugar less sweeter than the normal sugar. You cannot get palm sugar. Just put your normal sugar with the But coconut, clean, uh, uh, palm sugar definitely more healthier. Okay, after I put the sugar, I put the fish sauce. Like myself, I cook very often, I know how far I can go. Yeah, to let it boil. Now I put my bean chow in. They turn brown, you stop fire. It's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, let it boil. Now the bean chow haven't cooked yet. I have the second attempt to try. I put the chili in. When they start boiling and then the bean chow brown, it's done. Ah, now my bean chow start to brown. It's a good time. Make sure it's chicken cooked. Huh? Make sure they will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Let me try one more time. Hmm. Ah, this is the taste I want. Then you put the coconut cream in. Okay, my curry is smooth back already. Not illy illy anymore. Like that. At this temperature, about 90 degrees, yeah, the basil is the best. Yeah, this is vegetable. And then this is done. Okay. My bean chow is good. The smell is good. See, it's a bit dilute to you, but it's not. When it cool down, when you serve into the table, they will thicker than this about 20%. It means they will thick the what you like. Beautiful. The beauty in your hand. Okay, good. Okay, next one, fried rice. Back olive fried rice. This is the olive. This one, rather Chinese one. Mm. Don't pin so hard. They have the center seat, which very hard. You see, lightly, it's very soft. Even though I take off the seat already, the meat, very little, is good enough. Crunch it like that. Don't use food processor. They become one ball, like a tang yuan. You ah, okay, this is good. Okay, now I go to the ingredient. Definitely, I have rice. If we cook the rice more, drier. 
you just one to one just take out a little bit of water you will have the rice which cleanly good for the fried rice not any nut you like today i love you i keep pine nut you see the pork i give it to you very little a little bit butter this is some garlic chopped garlic yes sir the leaf huh? here the stem i cut 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 become this one then this one the red chili i think of the seed and dice small like that green mango huh? then you slide and then you cut become like that normally before i fry rice i prefer to loosen my rice like that don't, don't squeeze until you become mochi huh? okay this one is good i start from a little bit of oil not so much coat it around and pour out the oil Huh? Retain a little bit like that is better. Huh? You see now, now the oil is just warm, don't hot. I put a little bit of garlic in. You see the sizzling like that is been too hot already. Don't too hot, don't too hot. Ah, lightly like that is going to burn, huh? And then I put some butter in. Don't put butter first. Butter will burn. You see this amount we do. And then I put the back olive. Just now I do fire too much already. This we do. You see, at this point, they won't stuck to the wok because I put the coated the oil first and then let it warm the wok. And then you can got the time to break. Your garlic not burn, aroma come out. This is good. And then I put the minced pork. Actually, I this amount is enough, but you love more, you can get more a little bit. It's okay. No need to be only pork, can mean chicken, can be the seafood like a prawn. Ah, this one is good. You see, you can smell. Ah, the back olive smell come out, it means the time for you, ready for the rice. You see my wok also not burning, it's very good. Yeah. Get the, the cloth ready for you, huh? because the pot and pan here very hot. Now you can increase the fire. The first thing, you don't do anything first, try to spread the rice first, like that. Huh? Otherwise the rice lumpy, huh? it's it hot, huh? the fire here. Yeah, the color beautiful. This one you don't put oil so much, huh? you can put oil beginning, heat the wok and then you pour out. Because if you put oil so much, your rice will be oily because the back olive naturally have oil. Yeah, your your fire rice will be very, very oily. Okay, this one is good. The recipe, I not really put the salt or any because the back olive very, very salty already. Yeah, I turn off the heat first. Huh? Try before you seasoning. It's already good. It's already salty. A little bit of sugar. Pepper also, do like that. Just use your hand. Not enough, put again. Okay? It's like, uh, this one, in. Done. This one, on the leaf, fire is turned off. And then you turn on again. Two stir, one, two, three. And then it's done. Turn off, my fire rice ready. You notice my rice, every clean is same color. Huh? It's the way. It's the way, huh? Okay. You put the uh, green mango, become $8. If you put the uh, red chili, become $8.50. If you put pine nut, become $12. <laughs> uh, if you put parsley nicely, become $12.50. If forest don't doing, this one $18. Plus, plus. <laughs> Clean bean, rinse, rinse until the water clear. Water clear already, you soak in the water, they expand badly, so have to put the water at least three times, 40 minutes. This one, the white coconut like that, I sprinkle a little bit of salt before I steam, like that. Rub, rub it, yeah? And then steam, five to 10 minutes. If microwave possible, one minute you do. Don't do longer than that, they will burn. Okay, I have the coconut cream here, but I will mix with the water. It light, like a milk. Okay, the flour here, I add a little bit at time, like that, and work. Yeah, when the water, when it's dry up, add another one. Yeah, when it becomes lumpy like that, add another one. Still dry, but when it comes, Clump it, you see they start to stick together, it's mean almost there already, you know. Don't see it's dry, huh? And then let, no, the liquid will be lesser and lesser. Uh, and then like chai, it's mean you need, need ta, need ta, like that, huh? You need until they become like a smoother paste. Can you do for the tang yuan? Uh, 
this one to me so you're very dry. You need me until become like that. Get yeah, smoother. Yeah, you better touch the dye, yeah? it's smooth like that. Good, you see it becomes smooth already. At this point, you will add the essence. I have the pandan paste here. Don't clean it again, one or two drops at a time. Like that. Uh, not enough, can put again. Until they become one color. Don't have dot dot patch patch like that. You have to do a little bit at a time. Huh? So this process is very long. Ah, about this color. Become one page, one color. This one, the longer you do, the more cute, cute. Okay, about this size. One is smooth like that, you pat. And then you put aside. But lighter is a bit tough, but not hot, not hot in your hand. That's the way you will see how calm is. I told you got two way. Like that, huh? And then you put. Wow, everything for the cook. I will talk about the, the sugar. Two person one like that, huh? I have the jima, white or black is up to you. I prefer mix. The hak jima, huh? the black color smells stronger. You just scoop the jima in. Check, check. Yeah. Mm. Can already. Okay, now you see the flat one, it float up already. It's made, it's cooked. You scoop up. Like that. The raw one haven't cooked yet, not float up. Try to uh, less the water if possible. Uh, like that, huh? It's hot, huh? Like that. You can add more if you want. To me, I like just nice. In the original one, we put a lot. That's why we call to a pap. To a pap, it means the bean hiding inside. Uh, the original one, yeah? So, like that. And then you squeeze at the end here. After this one, you cut it with a coconut. Beautiful. One piece, okay, not fly yet, let it fly out. Anymore. Now it float up already, just scoop out and put in here. But this one will be very hot to your hand, yeah? So you do like that, and then don't flat first, you do here first. Otherwise your hand cannot stand, huh? Look like all day, all day, huh? And then you can pat. Ah, second round so can. Huh? It's the same thing. You think which one is easier for you? You do it, okay? This one is original. Tua pep, original is this shape, okay? Ah, now you understand already? Uh, like that, yeah? Even though myself, I like that at home, watch television and eat and eat. Because this one no taste at all. Kautuka. You have to try it, yeah, then you tell me. Because the taste unusual. Don't worry, you see a lot of sugar actually it's not.